Roger, you're the newly appointed director for creativity at City University London. Can you tell us a bit about what that involves and your uh, role is going to be? Well, it's a, new, it's a newly formed centre. Uh, I don't think there's been anything like it in this university. I'm not sure there are many things like it in any, any universities in Britain or around the world. And it's a job really very much focused on the need for creativity in every single aspect of, of student life, of uh, teaching life, uh, of society in general. Uh, City University is very much involved with both the City of London, with business, with the professions, and so we're very interested in the whole business of professional practice. We expect it to be uh, really a leader in its field around the world. Um, there are all sorts of people looking at innovation, but there aren't so many looking really at the whole business of where innovation comes from, which is creativity. The reality is that we're only going to get out of this terrible economic problem that we're in through developing new products, developing new services, whether they're in education, healthcare, in business, uh, in finance. Um, and we need to find new ways of, of doing business. That means creative ideas and it means innovation. So it's, it's a really natural thing that in economic downturns, people cut the things that are most accessible and the things which are harder to quantify in a way. So, so many companies that I know have cut away the, the, the very parts of the business that are likely to del deliver the innovation for the future. People think they're cutting back to the sort of basic business, but the problem is that very often the basic business isn't going to create the growth in the future. There's a large fund being offered by the health minister at the moment, Lord Darcy, which is aimed specifically at developing innovation in the NHS. And the fact is that the NHS can't simply go on growing and absorbing money when there's less and less tax money to be, uh, to be spent. Somehow they've got to find ways, new ways of doing things. That's what I've been doing over the last 20 years or so, is helping companies and organisations of all sorts to develop new ideas, whether they're new products and services, or new ways of working, new strategies, um, and helping them to put them into practice. We're hoping to be able to really reach out to business and other organisations, government, and so on, and really help them to develop new ideas. I always think when, 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 when people talk about knowledge and knowledge management and so on, which is obviously very important, I always think of what Einstein said about it, which is, he said, uh, Einstein was so wonderful at one line, as he said, imagination is more important than knowledge. And the fact is that everything that is knowledge what was originally created or discovered. And so it's the creation and the discovery which is important. And then the knowledge transfer part of it just really is the next piece that follows on. But businesses and government need to become much more professional at the way in which they engage with creativity and innovation. If you look at almost any other part of their business, whether it's finance or marketing or sales or manufacturing, they're highly professional in all these things, supply chain. But if you look at their professionalism in, in innovation and creativity, they know themselves. It's at a much, much lower scale. New companies very often are the ones that have <clears throat> the most confidence in dealing with innovation and creativity. They go out into the marketplace with a new idea. It's all very often the big established businesses which find the most difficulty with this. Some companies think they have lots of ideas and that their problem is <coughs> excuse me, getting to market, getting those ideas to market successfully. Um, sometimes they're right about that, sometimes they're not. Other companies realise that they really don't have many good ideas and often that's the problem is in the organisation as a whole. With very positive intentions, companies set up innovation units or creative units or whatever and in the end, what happens, the unintended consequence of that, is that other people who are not in those units think that they're not involved. Well, the companies that are really, the organisations that are highly successful, realise that actually everybody needs to be involved and that everybody's ideas need to be paid attention to. Forty years ago, there was quite an emphasis on creativity in the education system. And it got, I think, through the Thatcher government and future Labour governments, it got squeezed out progressively. What's evident from the university perspective is that uh, kids are leaving school with very poor creative skills and with very poor problem-solving skills. And that really is an issue which is very evident to teachers here at City University, but to, to uh, academics you know, around the world. We're going to start a master's uh, in creativity, um, which is going to be quite unique because it will be interdisciplinary. People will be able to work in all, all, all kinds of different schools within the university 
uh, in order to get their masters. And we're going to be looking for the support and funding for that right across the board because it's a very exciting and innovative uh, master's degree. The reputation of the city, which was for centuries so high, its reputation for um, solid business practice, for its values, for its um, uh, honesty, and so on, these things have been damaged in the last year. And what we're doing is going to run a big brainstorm, a big city brainstorm, uh, aimed at making sure that the City of London has the highest possible reputation going forward and so that it can still be one of the most important parts of uh, the economy. Well, we're going to invite businesses to participate and we'll be certainly picking you know, a, a number of ideas w with other people. We'll be picking some ideas to take forward uh, and develop. I'm certainly going to be looking to make sure that we really optimise that link between the work that's done here and the, people, the work that people are doing here and the, the wider community, businesses, government, and so on. The most exciting work happening in, in, uh, in academic institutions right now, we need to pull that together with the, the outside world and make sure that we're really getting the best possible leverage out of it.